Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Science for Self Start. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can start coding or how you can use Eclipse. You can use Eclipse as, as an IDE for development of Android. And there are some dependencies and library that plugins you have to integrate it alongside Eclipse so you can use Eclipse. Uh, for the development of Android applications uh, and to do that I've already put all the plugins and libraries uh, in the Google Drive make sure you download all of these uh, plugins or setups uh, I will put the link in the description below make sure you download all of them uh, because we are going to install all of these and start using them uh, so I have already downloaded I don't need to download it and if you want to download it you can right click on any of these and click the download I've already downloaded I do not need to do this uh, so these are the four things you need to uh, get from this drive the first one is JDK make sure that you have installed JDK properly so and if you ha have already installed JDK just open the command prompt and write java c version as you can see java compiler is installed properly and to check if the java runtime is installed properly or not write java okay in my computer it is uh, installed properly I didn't get this information uh, so it means that you have installed JDK properly and if you haven't just click on it click yes so as you know that uh, I've already installed JDK so I don't need to install it because it's going to take a little time uh, so you can do it by yourself there are some next next operations you can do that by yourself when you install the JDK just go to your PC go to C drive program files and find java folder click on it jdk then and write in here click on here copy this path close this window right click on this pc and comes to properties once you do this go to advanced system settings go to environment variables and in here system variables find path in here click edit and create new as you know but that I've already pasted in here so I don't need to do this and if you don't have it there's just right click and paste it so I have already do this so I'm going to delete this because I've already installed the path in the environment variables click OK okay uh, to check that if you have installed the uh, JDK properly just okay once uh, uh, you have installed JDK just open command prompt write java c dash version and hit enter as you can see java compiler is installed successfully and uh, one thing is left you have to check the runtime java dash version and this time make sure that you write java only and hit enter as you can see java compiler and java runtime is installed successfully uh, so the next thing we need to do is click on eclipse uh, because it is eclipse uh, sdk uh, ndk and some other plugins are integrated in it you don't need to install any plugins just, just click on it and install click yes So you can see Eclipse uh, as installed successfully and here is the shortcut. So in here you have to choose your workspace, the place you want to store all of your folders. So I'm going to choose the desktop as a, a path for storing my projects. Click OK. And you can also use this as default and do not ask again. If you do this, uh, it will have your projects uh, on your desktop. So click OK. So the next thing you need to do is go to window go to show view come to other and in general 
choose property and click OK and the next thing you also need to do is just go to window come down to Pro preferences click Android in here click Android 4.4 W click apply and hit OK as you can see here is when you come in here you can see Android application project and if you do not see this just come to other from here you can choose Android application project click next in here you have to give your application I'm going to name it my first app you need to choose the, your project name and package name. Package name you have to write the reverse domain of your company. If you're working in a company, make sure that you write your uh, domain in here, but in the reverse order. So if you do not work in a company, in a company, just let it as default. And here, click the minimum SDK. I'm going to click 4.4 kit cap, and the target SDK is 4.x L preview and leave all of these as default click next 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 check blank activity and next finish so once you have done this uh, now Eclipse is for Android and you can use it for your development as you can see I'm going to minimize this minimize here also you can see this is our first activity and you can see in the left side all of the files dependencies android manifest files and uh, because the android interface is built with xml when you come in here you can see all tags only here and android is uh, its interface built on xml and code in java so you can also use java uh, for android and if you don't like Java you can use other language but you have to install other dependencies so I'm going to leave it at default I'm going to install other things so the next thing you need to do is make sure that you install VirtualBox click on it click next next yes install so it's taking a lot of uh, uh, some time I'm going to pause the video okay once the installation uh, is finished successfully click finish come to file come to file and click import appliance and in here just choose the genie motion dependencies go to this type genie motion files for virtual box make sure that you have uh, get this uh, from this drive these files genie motion files for virtual box click on it and check any of these you can choose this one or this one so i'm going to use this one click open next import you can give a name for your genie motion if you want if you don't want it just leave it as default so once you have done this and close virtual box open genie motion click yes okay next 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 install finish so this is genie motion you can click on it and the window pops up so when the once the window pops up click on start so it's going to launch your emulator if you give if it gives you an error as the name of OpenGL make sure that you enabled virtualization in your laptop so you can go to BIOS and enable the VT technology there so it's going to take uh, some time I'm going to click continue and it's going to take a little time so I'm going to pause the video after it uh, finishes uh, all of the so it's quick so I'm going to rotate it so close this so here is our emulator because we we are going to see the result on this so you can start coding in here and this this is your emulator now you're android now you're ready to start coding in android
if you like this video make sure you give us a thumb up if you don't like it just give us a thumb down and make sure that you subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon if you have any questions or any problem feel free uh, to ask me just write uh, your comments and suggestions in the comment section below based on your suggestions I will create these tutorials based on your perceptions so have fun and goodbye